and, and I beat them. I beat them in, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee in 1978. Your matches with Andre the Giant. Um, I once yes. heard people say that no one, and, and I mean no one, manhandled Andre the Giant more than Ronnie Garvin. That's the truth. You know, yeah, he was a great guy. He was he was probably one of the best humans I ever met. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, I had him on the ground. I came off the top rope on him, and I beat him, and I hit him over the head with chairs. <laughs> Just, you know, and uh, he didn't have to do that, you know. But it was, you know, he, he respected the way we were. You know, they look good. You know, and 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 I beat them. I beat them in, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee, in nineteen uh, seventy-eight. Nineteen seventy-eight, the Coliseum in Knoxville, Tennessee. But the the, the way I beat them, it, it's not really. He was down on his back. I had moved out of the corner, and he ran into the corner of the ring because he was charging me like he, if I wouldn't have moved out the corner he would have crushed me. <laughs> he was a big guy. A monster. And uh anyway he, he went down and I covered him, tried to pin him. And what he did he's so strong when he kicked out I went I went probably six feet up in the air and I went over the top rope. Because we were right next to the to the ropes. And the referee was counting and the referee went three but at three, he looked up. I was flying through the air over the top rope. So the referee disqualified him. So oh, wow. it never counted as a pin. It was just a disqualification. And, and it, uh, it, never, it never was filmed. I got, I got a four-minute film uh, of the, the part of the match. But uh, they didn't film the, the, the end of it. The last part of the match was not on tape. Okay. Well, at least there's some footage of it, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I hear all kinds of people, all kinds of fans, everyone. They say, look, if you think, you know, Hogan and Andre at WrestleMania three, look, that that's a joke compared to what Ronnie Garvin was able to do to him. And, you know, the way I, I believe you, you even slammed him, I think, too, in the match, from what I hear. No, no. You didn't slam him? No, I didn't do it. No. Oh, no. People would swear, swear up and down that you, you slammed him yeah. in that match. <laughs> No, but I remember one time he picked me up and threw me from one corner to the other in the ring. Yeah. But uh no, I didn't slam him. You know. Okay. But I uh, you know, you know wrestling, you take down a a big man that goes down makes you look like a like a giant yourself. You know, because you got a tall man that goes off his feet. It's harder for him to get up than it is for a shorter guy. You know, and when you look at the match, it makes you look real big. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and but uh, he was he was he was such a, a gentleman, and I, I had met him way back in in Tampa, Florida, North Carolina, and uh, I had invited him to eat at my house, and and he was, you know, he, he was just a super guy. You can't meet a better person. <laughs> Well, that's great to hear. I was shocked. When I heard he died, I was shocked. I was just...